Floyd's Mayhem Garage here. Well, I think I gotta work on the uh, crew cab. It sounds terrible. So the something's moved on the exhaust or something's something's loose, something. This uh the exhaust is vibrating off of something and it sounds terrible. Let's uh Let's get this in the shop and take a look at her. chilly but of course uh shop is packed so i always try to leave the front stall open here for instances like this so the crew cab doesn't fit completely in um unless i want to move the heater and not have heat which is just not going to happen so <laughs> just pulled it part way in but uh i think i need to uh i need to get on my dirty hoodie or my shop hoodie since i got the uh general mayhem <laughs> And uh, take a look here to see what is happening with this exhaust. So just look under the hood earlier. Um, everything under the hood seems to be uh, solid and tight. Um, I had issues with this aftermarket kit when I first put it on. Um, the flange wasn't thick enough and so the V-band clamp leaked something terrible. So I had welded my own brought my own the old v-band on there or the old uh, portion of pipe that was thicker and so it sealed properly so i was wondering if maybe that was cracked um it doesn't appear to be so it's it's holding up good so i think the problem's somewhere else along the line um i don't know if something else came loose or something you know something's moved but i suppose uh let me uh change some uh the hoodie here and Crawl underneath and see what I can find. All right, so first assessment down here. Um, this is a four inch exhaust kit that I put on this truck. Um, turns out, you know, nobody makes a uh, four inch exhaust kit for a Cummins and a uh, Crew Cab 78 Dodge. So, uh, but these frames being very similar from 72 to 93. I ended up buying a kit for like a you know 89 to 93 uh, club cab long bed you know or whatever years they ended up making them and uh, because the club cab long bed was very similar in wheelbase to the crew cab short bed and everything fit really nice except for this spot here it just hits the edge of the uh, uh, transfer case here and I had actually heated it up and bent it in a little bit for clearance. And I think that's where my noise is at, except that's not where my problem is at. So that's the noise, but not the problem. So my exhaust, grab it here and push it back and forth. I've got a uh, exhaust bracket at the back of the truck that's broken, I believe. So I'm gonna have to move down the line. I may have to actually spin the truck around to look at it uh, or to actually get back there, so. Yeah, that's, uh, that's where I'm at, at least. So let me do a little bit more digging here, and we'll follow up. All right, should be a relatively easy fix. So I haven't turned it around yet, but my exhaust hanger is broken. So it's one mounted up on the frame, just rubber. It's broken it. <laughs> so it's one I welded next to one of the other ones, because you know, as I say in this kit, uh, wasn't designed for this truck, so the exhaust worked nicely, but the rest of it, um, I had to big all my own mounts through there, so. Um, I know a lot of times it's just those, uh, those metal brackets that's 
uh, like looped up into metal or up into rubber. And when those get welded the pipe, a lot of times that's a uh, like a, a pivot point and it ends up breaking right where this one broke. So not a big deal, but we'll, uh, I guess, do some uh, maintenance on the crew cab. Um, I'll get this flipped around. I'm gonna get that welded back up and should be a relatively easy fix. Um, future wise, I'll probably have to add another um, hanger to it. Cause obviously this one didn't, didn't hold up, but beyond that, um, I know it was close up underneath by the transfer case. So I may heat that up and dimple it even a little bit more. And yeah, I think that's gonna, gonna fix the problem. Hopefully at least, hope it's that simple. Perfect. Look at that. I don't know how it looks on camera here, but you can see the dimpling I did to the uh, exhaust. Got the uh, oxyacetylene out. Needed, uh, I had the map gas and it just was taking way too long to heat up. So, and with it being so cold out here, even with the uh, oxyacetylene, it was, uh, <laughs> it was cooling off pretty quick. You know, I'd had to, uh, um, ended up mostly just working with the torch in one hand with the pry bar in the other and heat it up, pry a little bit, and then cool it off almost immediately. Heat it up, pry a little bit more, heat it up, pry. And so, but yeah, I got a nice bit of room there now from uh, between the exhaust and the transfer case. So I think that should do it. As of now, I will uh, <laughs> um, just leave the portion on the back here as is, just that welded piece I did. Um, I ended up adding just a little extra piece of metal uh, just to help support it a little bit, but I think eventually, maybe on a nicer day, when it's not, you know, 8 degrees outside, <laughs> um, I think I'll end up uh, actually adding some extra or some more hangers in there. So, because it's clear, I got uh, uh, one at the back here, one in the center, one up by the motor, and then off the turbo, and that seems to be kind of floppy here at the back, so probably had a one or two more here at the back um it had some pretty good hangers on it some pretty heavy duty ones on the kit that didn't you know work with this truck at all so uh but like i said that'll be later <laughs> um i guess let's fire it up and see how it sounds probably pull it out so i don't smoke us to death in here <laughs> and uh yeah smoke out the uh the race car i gotta uh gotta work on this thing at some point too Oh yeah, so much better. That was getting so obnoxious. Nice and sturdy, nice and quiet up here now. No uh, changing and clinging and whatever I was doing before. That's much, much better. Yeah, I gotta take care of the old crew cab. She's uh, she's been a good truck. The you know the, the crew cab, the Cummins, the five-speed overdrive, the the shoot the 354 gears I put in it. The thing cruises down the highway nicely. It gets pretty good fuel mileage too, which in this day and age, especially as of recently, is uh, apparently come becoming pretty important. <laughs> you know, fuel's getting uh, pretty pretty up there in price, but. At least this thing gets decent fuel mileage, so... Yeah, I gotta, gotta take care of the old girl. But... I guess that wasn't uh, too complicated. Short, sweet, to the point, I guess. But that'll, uh, that'll finish up this video. And I guess, uh, as always, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy.